hope that you are well welcome to a new video uh, so today i will focus on the outdoor lighting um, more exactly um, related to the parking area or near the the main warehouses and the production production line um, of the, of this facility and as you can see on the right side here is the entrance um, to the the area of uh, of this facility so the trucks are just entering let's say main gate and they just come to the docking place where they're just loading or unloading uh, the goods um, so in 3d it, it looks like this so i made already the the lighting calculation i choose the correct let's say correct luminaires that we need to install uh, establishing the light level uh, required by the by the norm and yeah this this is the outcome and i just want to to highlight that i already introduced also into the calculation um uh, calculation objects which i added here just to be easy to to find out the illuminance level that uh, we will have on the on the area where the the trucks are um, going into the area of uh, of this facility and going out uh, usually for the parking areas for for the trucks it's um, between uh, 10 to 20 lux in our case i will just go on the on the result and see the see the outcome it will take some time as it's a very big project and we have all the spaces also the indoor and outdoor and then i'll just close everything and i will just let the calculation surface tree which is uh, actually the the outdoor scene uh where i where i made the calculation for the for the parking and docking station for the for the truck so you can see that we have a level of 21.4 lux so it's it's higher um then uh, yeah the 20 which should it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, recommended by by the norms um going on the lighting lumin lighting feature you can see that i i will just click on it and i use these luminaires for for the for outdoor uh, we have also a diff distance which is very nice uh, suggested by 13 meters between the two poles um, the pole height installation as far as i remember it's nine meter the mounting height as you can see it here and I will switch now to the false colors just to have also a look um, related to the to the light that we have on the on the um, parking area of the trucks and yeah also the entrance to the to the area of the dock station. In addition, I was using also um, asymmetric light, which are um, luminaires which are mounted um, in, on the on the warehouse on the walls and uh, just to for the drivers when they're coming and docking parking um, their trucks on the on the on the main gates it's much easier to yeah to to park the truck on in the correct position so that that will help so use an asymmetric i will just highlight which type of luminaire i have used it's more about i would say the light distribution curve when you choose it's better to be um yeah asymmetric to come uh, in front of of, of the, let's say to to have a long distance in in front of the truck that will help uh, to improve the to improve the light level so yeah that's 
more or less the outdoor uh, lighting of um, of the warehouse and as I mentioned the lux level which you need to to fulfill is between 10 to, to 20 the illuminance so that that's um, recommended in addition you can add also this kind of poles which I I just draw it like a column so you have a round column and then you just place it here and you just put a diameter of 0.1 and that it's it's much nicer to to have actually also representing the the pole of um, of the luminaire otherwise in dialogues you'll just have the the hanging um, hanging luminaires on the on the height of nine meters so that will not look very very appealing let's say in this way and yeah here it's a scenario if i let's say in the daylight how the parking place is looking i was using also uh, materials for uh, defining material for the for the parking area if i click here you can see on the materials you just select and then you have the catalog materials and here i was just using the the outdoor you can use from the concrete dark and you just drag and drop and then of course if i choose this one then i need to do the recalculation i will not go forward i use here and the material define material structure and also for the for the walking path some tires yeah to the to the doors so just to look a little much much better i would say and yeah for now also from outdoor you can check uh material again and then you go on the outdoor sorry the other catalog it's not the colors um let's go here i think it's on the other you can find only the materials but from the catalog width objects I, you can go for the outdoor planning and you have different um, small houses build block of flats which you can introduce for drawing or you had you choose on street planning for example i took the trucks from here and you have indicators for the roads which you can use as well and addition you have also people or yeah this we don't need and i from here I took also as well the trees which later on I just um, changed the dimension so you can choose yourself the height for example and also the diameter of each of article which you want to use so that's all for today's video I hope that you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel give a like to this video you'll find uh, in the description of this video other uh, links to um, production line um, and as well for uh, for the lighting for a warehouse so have a good day bye bye